And we're going to pop our head in here. Maybe we'll talk to the, uh, Congressman Lou Stokes, if we will. Uh, I bet it wouldn't take much to get you back in there. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, we'll take, we'll take I thought maybe we're coming in on history here. Have a seat. Stay there, stay there, stay there. You stay. Leon <laughs> yeah, Biz trying to get Lou Stokes to run again. We could add a, a new Step 5 exclusive. <laughs> So many memories. Yeah, many, many, many memories of Louis. And that was something you said that you would often try and pro prod him about. I would always say, Louis, I picked up a little word that you're thinking about throwing your hat into the ring and running for office. He says, oh, no, been there, done that, he'd always say. You know, the, the legacy of Cleveland cannot be written without the brothers Stokes, and they had such an impact. But Lou was the reluctant politician. He was the power behind the power. He was the power behind Carl Stokes. He was, was certainly one of the key strategists, he and Arnold Pinckney, the late Arnold Pinckney. But, but he, he was more reluctant. He was more behind the scenes. And, and Carl was more out front uh, the, the, at that time, uh, uh, the, the talker out front, and, and Louis was the strategist and the plotter behind the scenes. And it was his legal groundwork that laid the way for the division of the districts, the stopping of the gerrymandering that allowed these minority districts to take place. And in 68, he finally won that, and he ran for the seat. He didn't want to run. You remember him telling me that he wanted Carl to run. Yeah. But Carl's like, I just got the mayor. I just it's, got the mayor's it's, job. It's you, you. You run. So then the story. Stokes brothers put it together and made a political dynasty, the Stokes brothers. You had the chance to talk to him so many times about so many things, but one of the most fascinating things was the Select Committee on Assassinations that he co-chaired in, in Congress. That was in 1977 he co-chaired that one as they reinvestigated the JFK and the MLK assassinations. One of the stories he tells me, he actually went to Cuba and interviewed Fidel Castro about the speculation that maybe Castro had a hand in killing John Kennedy. And Castro told Louis Stokes face to face, I did not kill your president. If I had killed your president, your country would have blown my little country, Cuba, off the map. Louis told me that story. We used to talk about it over the last few years. And that's what I love, the little stories that you picked up, especially when he was here as a Newsnet 5, News Channel 5 mm -hmm. a political analyst, talking over the years, especially in 2008 when we had the chance to sit down with him, the backstories. And I remember him saying how he would run for president, but only run for president yeah. in the 11th Congressional District, and he would win. <laughs> so the delegates were now his. So to the Democratic presidential nominees, who are the hopefuls, you want those delegates we got to talk. Louis Stokes knew how to use political power, and he used it to the utmost. That's why so many buildings in this greater Cleveland area are named after him, because he used that political power to get financial dollars here for the VA hospital or for the RTA stop or, or RTA uh, 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 rapid transit station. All of that, he used political power, knew how to use it. And real quick, one of my favorite stories was the one he told me, and I know he told you, mm -hmm. about on election night when Carl Stokes was elected. You don't see him on the stage. No, you don't. And, and why was that? Louis Stokes was with Martin Luther King that night. And Martin Luther King said, I don't want to be in front of the cameras because this is Carl Stokes' night. And Carl said, Louis, stay in the hotel with, and keep Dr. King company. That's why you don't see Louis Stokes on election night 1967, not in front of live television. A great legacy remembered, Louis Stokes. We continue to honor him and pay tribute to him throughout the day. We certainly do.